You don't know the power of the dark side. You underestimate my power! <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day today so far. So in this video we're going to be reacting to part 6 of Ahsoka. Uh, last week of course we watched part 5. Uh, very, very, very good episode. Of course, we got the return of Hayden um, as Anakin. About half the episode, you know, was uh, cut and back and forth of him and Ahsoka um, kind of battling uh, and, and going through, you know, flashbacks of, of Clone Wars, the Siege of Mandalore. Um, and I put a poll up on my, uh, my Instagram, or sorry, my, uh, YouTube page asking if you guys, if you thought that was actually Anakin, 75% of you think that's actually Anakin, 25% said no. I'm still not really too sure because, you know, some parts of me wants to say that's Anakin, of course, with the comments he made on how he's like, I'm not going to fight you when Ahsoka said that. And he said, oh, I've heard that before, kind of referring back to Luke, uh, in episode six. So like one part of me wants to think that but then again then again luke could have told ahsoka that so maybe that was her mind kind of uh you know playing tricks on her because luke and ahsoka and grogu were on that planet in book of boba fett for who knows how long um so i'm sure they had lots of time to uh to catch up talk about anakin talk about darth vader so you know i'm still on the fence uh whether i think that's anakin um if that's the only you know thing of hayden we see i i want just a little bit more i want just like i want him to return at the end um or, or at some point you know as actually him i want to see him in his ghost form talking definitively talking to ahsoka i just want i like like a five minute conversation a couple minutes conversation um just so that you know they can hash stuff out more um i do love the lightsaber fights it was fantastic i loved it but, you know, sometimes, uh, the, especially between these two characters, you know, you really want to, you really want to see them talk. You really want to see what they have to say to each other, you know, after so much history and so much stuff has, has happened between them two. So this next short part is, is nothing to do with Star Wars at all. Uh, it's something that happened to me a couple days ago. So if you don't really care, skip right ahead to the reaction. Um, but I've been playing a lot of golf. I started last summer, end of last summer. And I've started really playing a lot this year. I was playing at a course um, in the mountains and it's, it's definitely one of the most beautiful courses that I've ever played at um, in my short time of playing golf. And it's a short par three and basically you have to take your cart over a bridge um and the green is like say here uh you shoot here and then there's like a huge drop in between so you shoot your ball you take the cart all the way over here and then you get out and then you of course you know sh put the ball in the hole hopefully that's how you play golf so we hit all of our balls onto the green here um and then we go over we leave our carts we walk towards uh, our balls we start, you know, chipping, putting, um, and we hear a noise, and we turn around, and there's a big black bear, like, just walking out of the thing, and it's like, I've encountered, you know, living in Canada, I've encountered black bears, deer, uh, a lot of wildlife, raccoons, all, all that before, so I'm not too phased by it, so, like, I, just seeing it there, like, I, I didn't think at all, so I just, like, you know, we kept playing, because usually... I've encountered bears at this course before, and they they look at you and they just walk away. They don't care. Um, and then I heard a noise, and I, so I turn back around, and the bear is is like grabbing my bag. It's like sniffing my bag. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, buddy? I'm like, I don't have any food in there. I'm like, I had a bio steel, which is like an energy drink, a sports drink, but I took it out of the bag like when I started playing golf, and I put it in the little cooler. So I'm like, I'm like trying to make noise, like telling it to stop and stuff. Um, and then he like grabs it and like starts like ripping. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to destroy my bag. It's like, this is an expensive golf bag. So I grab my golf ball and I, I don't throw it at the bear, but I like trying to throw it in the direction to kind of like 
get it to you know hopefully get off and like the the ball doesn't phase him at all he just like looks at the ball doesn't care so i start like clapping i like making noise and he turns around looks at me and he like charges at me like I, i'm like i like kind of like froze for a second so i would say the the bear was like 30 40 feet away and then it, it runs probably within 10 or 15 feet at me and like stops looks at me and then turns around goes back to the cart continues to destroy my golf bag uh literally ripped the whole left side of it like destroyed it it's gone i need a new bag now and he goes into the cooler takes out the gatorade takes out the bio steel rips the bio steel apart and of course we can't do anything because like i said this is like the isolated part of the green there's about a hundred like foot drop ish so we can't go back to where we hit the only way we can go back is go to our carts go across the bridge and continue on to the course but we're on this side and the bear is at the carts so we can't go to the carts or else the bear will eat us or whatever um so we waited like 15 minutes the bear like i said destroyed my bag destroyed my bile steel sniffed around sat in the cart for like 10 minutes and then he just wandered off and and I, I was like i was like shocked i'm like what did what just happened why me why why is why did that happen to me literally four bags and he chose to destroy mine like the people said they had food in their bags so i'm like so confused why the bear didn't go after that and like why do you go after something that's in my bag when there's nothing there and like he, he took a huge bite out of like a pocket that had my wallet in it um so uh, i mean that's fine but there's actually a viral clip i'm not sure if you've seen it before um the same exact course that i went to who knows maybe even the same bear it looks like the same bear now that i'm seeing it now um and he basically grabs the person's bag whole bag and just carries it off into the forest i'm just gonna pull up a like a one minute clip yeah right here <laughs> so you can see the bear oh my god this is I'll, I'll play it let me see if i can uh, get some audio at least let me play this don't know if you can hear that yeah look at this look at this it looks like the same exact bear he was doing that to me but the left side the left side of my bag so like that side so you can see yeah. this, this guy's bags this guy's bags oh getting ripped up too see how strong these creatures are it's insane so he rips it and then watch this takes the bag <laughs> takes the guy's bag and you can see there's some some of his club well i mean i get looks like his putter is still in there but the the bag's gone bag's gone the guy <laughs> the guy's like what's going on here that was me basically but i mean that's not me obviously but i'm like that's kind of see there's that huge drop and there's nowhere you can go like you could you were literally trapped until the bear does what it wants to do and then he just takes it and uh, and runs so <laughs> so so I just wanted to quickly uh, quickly show you that there. Um, I, I I saw the video before, and uh, the people I was golfing with brought it up to me. Like as soon as they saw the bear, it's like, oh, he's gonna is that the bear that takes your bags? Um, so I, I thought that was pretty funny. So definitely nothing related to Star Wars at all. Just a little piece of my life that happened. Uh, uh like i said a couple of days ago that i thought i'd share with you so i thought i mean obviously not in the moment not funny at all i was pretty mad actually but uh but now i'm looking at it now you know it's it's a funny experience I, I didn't die so that's good so yeah super excited to get into this episode but we've waited long enough so let's get right into it it's kind of like uh kind of like thor like the rainbow rainbow road Is. She went with the enemy willingly. Impossible. I saw it through the force when I held the map. It's a tough decision for her. A long time ago, in a galaxy oh my far, God. far away. What? That's cool. 
I like that. That gave me goosebumps. Wow, that's weird. Far, far away. Okay. Nice. So cool. Dave Filoni is just pushing the boundaries of Star Wars, man. Really doing things. Seems like that's what he does in all of his work. He just does things that never been that done before. Kimidia. And feel within Star Wars. My ancestor. To the other. My people were among the first to harness and ride the creatures in the days before time was counted. Holy cow. We're getting some lore. Wow. Look at that makeup. And I was a bit older than you are now. I watched everything I knew burn. The Jedi Temple? See, so was a Padawan? Or I guess he probably just became a Jedi Knight. I couldn't make sense of it at the time. You realize it's all inevitable. He's probably the same age as Anakin, right? Fall of the Jedi. Rise of the Empire. No, it's not her. That's, uh... Somebody... Somebody's opening the door. Oh my god, there it is. There it is. Here he comes. Oh my god. Here we go. ...has become a frightening reality for those who may oppose us. Oh, he looks good. Great mothers, I salute you. Speak to me of this loose thread. I love his voice. His voice sounds so good. Help. She could be of some use to us. Sabine Wren. Throng. What a delight it is after so long to see a familiar face. It's a good thing she's got Beskar. These like Tuscan raiders of the new galaxy imagine Thrawn just leaves all of them here and when Ahsoka comes like Balin and Shin Hati have to kind of Mercenaries go on Ahsoka's team to get back to attack squads. Wait for Lord Balin's signal. I wonder how fast they got here compared to how fast the Purgil travels like how fast is it for that ring to get here than the purgle to get here? Is it the same time or is the machine faster? Is the purgle faster? Don't put it down, just put it in your holster. Oh, he's got clothes. I knew I could count on you. What? He is hanging out with these guys. And he's got a beard. I was gonna say, I feel like Thrawn would know where he is if this was like a village, but yeah. Sabine. I guess he just said they move around a lot. And even if, wouldn't Thrawn have like drones or something he could send out and could find it? I don't, I don't know. Could it be the recently deceased Sokatana? Impossible. I thought it was beyond you. I want to know her background, history, home world, her master, everything. Yes, Granddad. If a star whale approaches Peridia, destroy it with prejudice. Dude, Thrawn's so good, dude. Great mother. All right, so just finished episode six, far, far away of Ahsoka. Initial thoughts. Uh, I really like the episode. The highlight definitely was Thrawn. Um, I haven't seen much of him. As I mentioned, I haven't seen entirely Rebels. Um, I've seen, of course, clips, you know, breakdowns, what happens um, as a like a, the general plot of the whole four seasons. Um, so I, I do know about Thrawn. Um, I do know about Ezra. Uh, I do know the story. <clears throat> but... 
Thrawn looks amazing. Thrawn sounds amazing. He is so, like, what's the word? He's so smart, I guess you could say. That's his, that's his power, is how smart and his intellect. Like, literally, when the, the, the Night Mother or, or the, the Dark, the Dathomir witches um, were saying how Ahsoka's coming, his first thing was, tell me who she is, tell me her background, who her master was, tell me everything. Because that's his power is knowledge. Once he knows everything about her, then he knows how to take her down. So I I absolutely loved Thrawn in this episode. Um, so I, I, I don't know how it compares to rebels whenever he's on screen you know you're just you're just encapsulated um so fantastic performance um the little shell creatures they were cool i like them they reminded me kind of of the ewoks a little um obviously nothing close to the, how they look just kind of their cadence um and uh just the whole interaction between Sabine and then and, and those little shell creatures uh, reminds me a lot of like Luke and then Han and, and C-3PO trying to talk to the Ewoks. So I really like that. That was good too. Ezra, I would have to say, is the character I know the least about. Um, I don't know that much about him. Uh, he sounds cool. Uh, he looks cool. I like his uh, I like his beard. I don't think he had a beard in the show if I'm if I'm correct, but uh, I wonder if Sabine's, I think the lightsaber is, he gave it to Sabine, um, if I'm, I, I mean, I could definitely be wrong, so I don't, I don't know if she is going to give that back to him, uh, what's going to happen here, we didn't get, we didn't see, I mean, in the beginning we saw Ahsoka, but after the, the uh, intro rolled, didn't get her at all, um, we didn't get General Hera with, um, what's happening with the New Republic on how she's going to probably get suspended probably get in trouble um stupid idiots i don't know i mean it makes sense how the first order rises up because of how incompetent this new republic government is you think leia would do a better job you know but um obviously it's not not leia's fault but it's a definitely some kind of uh, underling of the empire still inside like a uh, hydra almost like in shield for uh, Marvel a little seed in there and that that little tiny piece can you know bring an empire down um, Or a new Republic so yeah pretty good episode um, I really liked it really like Thrawn cool to see kind of we're gonna get a lot of new lore I guess um, with with this new galaxy uh, so much much to learn um, so Ahsoka so far has has surpassed what I thought it was going to be uh, I think I like when I first heard of it I wasn't that hyped um, even like watching like I, I watched the first three episodes like in one day because you know the first two came out uh, the first week and I, I didn't bother watching those and then the next week when episode three came out I'm like I'll watch one episode and then I watched all three, like literally back to back to back. I was late uh, for <laughs> whatever. I was. I remember the day I was going out somewhere, and I I was late to it because I was watching Ahsoka. Uh, so this is this is my favorite Star Wars thing I've seen in a very long time. You know, for for me personally, it's just something about this show that just feels Star Wars, and that's something you can't really explain. It's more of a feeling. Um, like when those little shell people popped up, um, and you know, they were, they were obviously not speaking a language none of us under, understood at all. Um, but you know, having those that little scene with her, them and Sabine, and and uh, it was it was it just felt Star Wars. You know, you get the 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 Thrawn with all the stormtroopers. In Dave, we trust. Dave has my support. 
Um, uh, if he decides to make a trilogy, I'm going to be there opening night based on uh, what I've seen from him so far. So I, I really, really am happy with, with how Ahsoka's going. Like I said, two episodes left, so we got a lot to do in two episodes. But yeah, I've been babbling on, so I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think of this episode? What do you think of this series so far? Where does this rank uh, in all the other Star Wars show? Where does this episode rank in all the other Ahsoka shows? Uh, all the other Ahsoka episodes. Um, for me, like I said, each episode just gives me more and more of kind of what I want. So I, I wanted kind of more dialogue, which this whole episode pretty much was all dialogue. Uh, except a couple of you know fight scenes but yeah please let me know down in the comment section down below how are you liking ahsoka so far how are you liking the episodes um for me personally like i said i'm loving it i'm loving it uh so i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day we will see you all next week um i might upload a video in between now and then um but if not i will see you all next week when the next episode comes out thank you all so very much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day today but of course may the falls be with you always